What if I told you that one of the most powerful ways to safeguard your future and protect your brains is something you're already doing every night? Or at least, something you should be doing. I'm talking about sleep. And when it comes to sleep, it might be one of the best preventive measures we have in dealing with things like Alzheimer's disease. So just a quick show of hands, who in this room thinks they actually got more than around five hours of sleep last night? And keep your hand up if you got more than eight hours of sleep. A few less hands, and that's okay. We live in a world where being busy is often celebrated, while sleep is seen as something to sacrifice. And while that's okay, not having enough sleep has such a detrimental impact on us that we don't even seem to realize sometimes. So how can we use sleep to lower our risk of getting neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's? Well, one of the brain's hidden talents is something called the glymphatic system. And this system kicks into gear when we're in deep sleep. It's kind of like the brain's overnight cleanup crew. It flushes out toxins, including the harmful proteins amyloid beta and tau. And these are proteins that have been linked to Alzheimer's disease. So when we get good uninterrupted sleep, the brain has the time it needs to get rid of these harmful proteins. But when we don't, these harmful proteins can build up, setting the stage for Alzheimer's. Now, the great news is that emerging research is showing the power of sleep as a preventive measure. One study found that even just one night of quality sleep can dramatically reduce levels of amyloid beta in the brain. And what's more, over time, consistent good sleep has been linked to lower rates of cognitive decline and memory loss. So while you may have heard that genetics and other factors play a huge role in the development of diseases like Alzheimer's, sleep is an area where we have control. It's a tool that we can use to actively reduce our risk and improve our quality of life. Now, the benefits of sleep go far beyond Alzheimer's prevention. Good sleep boosts memory, enhances creativity, sharpens decision-making, and even strengthens our immune system. When we sleep well, we're better versions of ourselves, emotionally stable, mentally sharper, and resilient in dealing with the challenges of daily life. So how exactly do we make sure that we're giving our brains the rest that it needs? It starts with improving something called sleep hygiene. And here are some ideas of things that you could try even tonight. One, stick to a schedule. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This really helps to regulate your internal body clock, which makes it easier to wake up and fall asleep naturally. Two, create a sleep-friendly environment. Your bedroom should be cool, dark, and quiet. Kind of like this room, but I hope no one's asleep yet. If noise is an issue, you can use things like hair, headphones to block out the noise. And if light's an issue, it might be an idea to invest in blackout curtains. Three, limit screen time. Now, I know we've all heard this one before, but the effect of blue light on your brain before you sleep is critical. Reducing blue light exposure from things like your phone, computers, TVs, is so critical in ensuring that your brain gets the rest it needs when you sleep. Blue light tricks your brain into thinking that it's still daytime, and this can delay the release in a hormone called melatonin, which tells your brain that it's time to sleep. So, ultimately, you can do all of, the th all of these things, but it's up to you to figure out what works best. By incorporating these things and practicing good habits, we can not only improve the quality of sleep, but we can give our brains the time it needs to go through all the functions that it does to remove the, these toxins, to repair and recover, and ultimately protect us from the risk of developing diseases like Alzheimer's. The beauty of sleep is it's a tool that we all have at our disposal. By prioritizing good sleep today, 
you're investing in a better, brighter future for your brain and your body tomorrow. Remember that sleep isn't a luxury, it's necessity. So the next time you're on your phone before bed, scrolling, doing whatever it is you're doing, think to yourself, is it really worth it? Do yourself a favor, put yourself first, and just go to sleep. Thank you.